From 2019, from the 2019 general elections to date, the Independent Electoral National Electoral Commission, INEC, has recorded 50 attacks on its offices in 15 states of the Federation. The INEC Commissioner for Information and Voter Education announced this at a sensitization program organized by the Center for Strategic Research and Studies and the National Defense College in collaboration with the African Global Empowerment and Development Network. All these attacks that have taken place, we have the capacity to recover, and we are going to recover uh, because we are already uh, reprinting the permanent voters' cards that were lost during the inferno, and we are also replacing the voting cubicles and uh, ballot boxes that we are also lost. We have the assurance uh, from the various security agencies that they are going to dominate the environment, they are going to neutralize uh, um, all some of these uh, attacks um, we, are, we, are, we are having. With security agencies, foreign partners and relevant stakeholders in the nation's electoral process in attendance, the need to create awareness on how to end such attacks and election security were all discussed extensively. A uh, series of activities that we're doing uh, to build the capacity of the armed forces. Uh, because we need this sensitization uh, to exactly know uh, the roles we're supposed to play. We felt there is a need uh, to bring the security elements of the 2023 election together so that they can harmonize their position so that they can be told their roles. They've been able to give us an insight to the now workings of election management as well as their aspirations and expectations also as individuals as, as Nigerians. INEC assures Nigerians of its readiness to conduct a credible election come 2023.